Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can use capacitor with Ionic framework. We can use capacitor with any web framework, but in this example, we are going to be using Ionic. So with the capacitor, what you can do is you will have a single code base and then with that code, you can create iOS application, Android application, electron application for the desktop, and then you can also create progressive web application with it. So let's get started. So first we can go to the directory of our choice. So in my case, I am currently on the desktop. Now, first you need to make sure you have Node.js installed on your system. For that, you can type node-v and if you don't have node installed, you can go to node.js.org and then the download the node from there. And after that, we can install Ionic by typing npm install dash g ionic right so i currently have it installed so i won't do that step and after that you can go ahead and run ionic then start and then the name of the application so i will name it my app and then after that we can say tabs so that will be the template that we are going to be using so there are a couple of templates namely blank tabs and then side menu template and after that we can add dash dash type equal to angular as angular works with various frameworks for example react view but in this example we are going to be using angular so we have to specify dash dash type equal to angular now if i hit enter here so this will go ahead and then create our ionic project for us and then it is installing the dependencies as you can see in the bottom so this might take some time so i will be back when it finishes now once this is done we can change the directory to our newly created project and then we can open it inside our code editor i am using visual studio code insiders field so i can type code insiders dot so this will go ahead and then open the project inside of the editor so here uh, we can see the structure here so if i open the terminal and then i can run the project by typing ionic serve so this will build the project for the first time and then it will automatically open it inside of the browser so this is how the default ionic project with the tabs template looks like and now let's see how we can add capacitor to our project so if I maybe let's close the terminal here and maybe let's clear it. So inside of Ionic project and then the other web frameworks, the steps are slightly different. So inside of Ionic, we can do Ionic integrations enable capacitor. Okay. So now we can hit enter and then this will automatically add capacitor to our project and now in the console you can also see what commands this will run so currently this is installing the package called capacitor core and then it is installing capacitor cli as a dev dependency and after that we can see we are getting integration capacitor added and here we can also see the commands to add the various platforms so we can either add android ios and electron or we can add all three so let's open the git and maybe let's see what files this will update so currently this has updated package.json and in here we can see this has added capacitor core so let's close the terminal here and if i scroll down this is added capacitor cli and uh, then inside of capacitor.config.json uh, we have this app id so this can be different from that you can change that to something like com.bgsync.app all right so that will be the your domain name or subdomain in reverse something like that and then you can add the app name here and then we can also specify the web directory so this will be the directory that we will get once we build our ionic project for the first time 
and uh, then we have this ionic config dot json right so here we have this integration array and uh, then we have this capacitor property here okay so let's go back to the explorer and uh, then inside of the terminal now we have capacitor added so we can actually add the platforms that we want to target so in this case currently i am on the windows machine so i can either target electron or android so i cannot work on ios so maybe let's see how we can add android so we can either use npx cap add android or we can use ionic capacitor okay actually capacitor then add android okay so once i run this command so this will go ahead and uh, then add the android to our project so, but here you can see we are getting the error capacitor couldn't find the web asset directory that uh, www directory that i was talking about so for that what you have to do is for once you have to run ionic build so this will create a new directory called www here inside of the explorer so let's go ahead and run this ionic build so this will build our project and then it will create that folder okay so once the build is finished we can see we have this www directory so this is actually our web application that we can deploy to any static hosting okay but what we are interested in now is uh, we can run this command once again so maybe let's clear terminal here and now we can run this ionic capacitor add android once again so now this won't give it the error and now you can see we're getting this inst installing android dependencies and now you can see the capacitor android is added to a project and here you can see the come out now you can run npx cap open android to launch android studio okay so i will use slightly different command so we can run ionic capacitor run android so this will go ahead and uh, then open the android studio for us and uh, here we can select the simulator or if you have connected your real device and uh, then you can run the application on the devices or the emulator so let's wait for it to finish so that it will open the android studio for us so now you can see this command has opened the android studio for us and then this will do some processing so this will start the gradle daemon so then this will run the build here inside of the android studio so once this is finished uh, we can select the simulator or the real device here and then we can hit play then the application will run on that device so now this is finished and uh, then we can select the emulator or the simulator so here currently have this pixel 2 xl api 28 so if you don't have this you can click here and then open avd manager and then create one or you can uh, maybe add your device or you can connect your device to your system so i currently have this created so i can hit play here so now this will go ahead and then install our application to the device and after some time you should see the application running on the emulator and if you have real device connected you will see it there okay so let's let's see how we can make some modifications inside the application so currently we are on the tab one so let's change this uh, welcome to ionic text so we will go to our editor and then inside of source app and then tab one then i can go to tab one page.html here so here maybe i am getting welcome to ionic so i will add welcome to ionic and then update okay so here i can save it and if i go to terminal again or actually the emulator you won't see the change there right so we have to do a couple of steps so maybe let's see so if i go here and then i run the command ionic sir okay and yes you can see the change here and if i also change maybe let's say to updates and then the change will be redirected or seen live on that web app okay but this is not the case with the emulator here 
So what we have to do is we have to build the application and then sync the www directory with our Android or the iOS platform so that we can see the changes there. So maybe let's go to the editor here. And so what we can do is we have to do ionic build. Okay. So this will build the project and then this will put the changes inside of our www directory. Okay, so you can see this is now gone and this will come back in a minute once the build is finished. And once we have the build finished, we will see this www directory once again. And now we have to push this directory to our respective platforms. For that, we can run the command npx cap copy. Okay, so now this will copy the web assets from www to the platforms okay currently we only have android right and now the next step is we can go to the android studio and then we can hit that play button once again okay so our app is currently running so this is slightly different all right so now this will again install the app on the real device and then we will be able to see our changes there so now you can see welcome to ionic updates so that's how you can get started with ionic and capacitors so in the coming videos we may talk about how we can use the apis inside of capacitor so let me know if you are interested so i will create a video for that too thanks